We're here at Shower Speed and Strength in Australia. I'm here with the part owner, head coach, Peter. And uh, we're talking about Sean's programming. He's a gridiron player, which is going to be our football. His brother is at the University of Hawaii, who's doing very well there. Started as a freshman recently. And uh, what's, it, what's uh, Blake's best clean and jerk? Uh, his best clean jerk is 160, and his best snatch is uh, 137 and a half. So that's pretty good. But we're looking at Sean's programming right now. I was working with Sean today, and uh, so Peter's going to explain this template he's got set up right here, which I like for uh, a football player. Okay, so kind of out of uh, we're not starting with an ideal situation in terms of just logistics and timing and stuff during the week, so. Uh, we've got Monday to Sunday written up here, so Monday is actually a rest day. Um, on Tuesday, which is today, um, Sean is uh, he's going to work up to a, a heavy single clean and jerk. Now he hit 117 and a half today. Last week he hit 115. Uh, he's he front squatted. Okay, the um, we worked up to 130 for singles. So he's going to you know, last week he took 127 and a half, took three singles of that, and then we actually have we actually snatch. We have been snatching after our uh, heavy clean and jerks on this day. Uh, we, the reason we went to that was we were, you know, we were missing a few, we were missing a few heavy cleans at one point, and we just thought, okay, we'll just go and put the snatches behind. That may change in the future, but this is an opportunity to, to sometimes we'll we will um, we'll go with straps, and we might power snatch and hang power sna oh, and hang snatch as a as a combination. We might do those in a minute or something like that. So that's usually in the kind of 60, you know, seventy percent, seventy-five percent range. We might do doubles. On, on yeah, but the those. the point is that if they do snatch after the snatch is light. Yeah, it's a, it's, all, it's a light. It's a, and, and it's all it's almost it's almost you know becomes a little bit of a of a uh, energy system thing as well. Right. Um, then on the Wednesday, uh, because you know this is not a competitive um, Olympic lifter, this is someone who is using the quick lifts as training economy. Okay, so this is where we're, we're classical barbell lifting, but we're not. You know, Sean may never compete in this. Okay, um, so on the Wednesday is really our strength day. He's gonna, he's gonna, uh, he's on a an amp progression with his back squat. Now he is low bar squatting this, and he's gonna work up. There'll be three sets of five there, and he's benching the same thing. Now we just do those two lifts on the Wednesday because on the Wednesday evening he will then uh, run. We'll, we'll run up at the field, and at this time of the year, this is. Uh, what I would call uh, alactic power work. So it is, um, you know, he's running his fastest, they're more full recoveries, and this is also the opportunity to run some technical tactical training as well. So, you know, he'll, he's, he's probably going to be a center, so he's working footwork drills, he's snapping and these kind of things, and working blocking drills. Thursday is a rest day completely. Um, he might do some active recovery work, some soft tissue work at home. Um, Friday he'll come in and he'll heavy snatch, so we'll work up to like a big single or three singles that are relatively heavy, like 95 you know, above, something like that. And on the afternoon, I've just got like, that's just accessory work, so what I, what I mean by that is that could be uh, a whole bunch of different things. That could be some rotational drills that are like gymnastic based. That could be, you know, he might be doing dips that day, he might be doing rows that day. Um, that, that's kind of more, so when I say this is a template, it's a, to the extent it's not so specific, like, uh, you know, over four weeks, I might have very specific things put in there, but, um, you know, if I just put accessory work, that allows us to put, you know, some things in there, and he might, you know, he's like, he's learned how to do handstand push-ups and things like that, so um, that's, that's what that is. Then on the Saturday, we'll come in, so medium clean and jerk, you know, he's gonna get, um, say, somewhere between five and 10 reps, that are you know around that 80, 85 percent range. So he might take doubles. He might take just you know a whole bunch of singles. Well, that's opportunity to, to, to be you know be more technically minded, but actually have something decent on the bar. Um, that's followed by uh, front squatting. That'll be a, a, a linear progression with the front squat. So just kind of like we're doing with the with the back squat, but that's that's going to follow our medium clean and jerk day. And then we'll have pull ups or some sort of upper body pulling movement. And then in the afternoon. Uh, so that'll be like before lunch in the afternoon. We'll often right right now because it's, it's it's been warm and we're coming. You know, we're just coming out of summer. We'll go and run sand hills and do things like that. Some conditioning work. So, uh, but as we go, that conditioning work will be more a lactic capacity kind of stuff. So repeated effort, interval running, 
that kind of thing. But, um, but right now, it's about getting very, very strong, very, very fast, very, very powerful, and trying to you know get bigger and stronger. So. Right. So I like this program because it has the quick lifts. Uh, has them doing them twice a week, one once heavy, once medium. There's the heavy snatch and the, and the light snatch. Back squatting and benching, which is necessary for a football player, if for no other reason, because they have to be tested in the bench. <laughs> but it's also very good for linemen. Then he's getting conditioning that is specific to his sport. Uh, this is more of getting the maximal stuff in, and this is more of getting the uh, sustained, sustaining output levels in the conditioning. So it's a good program, hits up the basic stuff, good for gridiron players, football players. And uh thought I'd share that with you guys. You have anything else to say, Tom? Hey,